Hey guys, Q&A number 19 coming at you. Sorry for the long hiatus. Um, yeah, that was a little bit of a break, but here we go. First question is, where should I eat out on the go? So if you're gonna stop through somewhere, uh, a healthy option. I really like sushi. Um, you can kind of order maybe a side of rice with some sashimi uh, and order a tuna or salmon sashimi. You might do some basic maki rolls like tuna maki, salmon maki, maybe an avocado roll, something like that, a miso on the side. Sushi is just really easy to kind of keep it basic. Uh, you got your proteins, your carbs, and your fats, and it's very uncommon for somebody to not tolerate sushi all that well. They're kind of benign foods on the, on the digestion front. So um, sushi is a great spot. Uh, something like Chipotle works too, or just if you're running through a grocery store, you can pick up, you know, maybe a piece of fruit and some lunch meat if you're in a pinch, um, something like that. Just keep it as close to something that you'd eat or prep at home uh, normally for that meal. Number two, how do I stop eating junk and treat foods? So basically, the easiest way to go about this is food environment. So don't have them around. Definitely don't have them in your house. It's kind of like if you didn't want to have a drink, maybe don't walk into a bar. Um, you just, you want to make it as easy as possible for yourself to not have to kind of require willpower or discipline or mental energy to say no to those foods. So the best way is to just not have them around, um, out of sight, out of mind. Last one is, why is CrossFit so successful? In my opinion, I think that the community aspect of CrossFit is kind of the primary reason why they're so successful. You can kind of combine getting exercise in or work out a good sweat with socializing your friends are most likely at your CrossFit box as well. So I think that that's a super appealing sort of two birds, one stone approach to training. And uh, it's just kind of like that fr friendly environment where you want to go because your friends are there. There's also some healthy competition as far as tracking workouts and you know your names on the board and all that sort of stuff and beating your last workout or beating the guy that's close to you or next to you as far as skill and performance wise. So I think that those are kind of the primary reasons why CrossFit is, has taken off the way that it has. So that's it, three quick ones. And uh, if you have any questions for future Q&As, hit me up. And thanks for watching, guys. I promise it won't be as long the next time around. See ya.